Hello, and welcome to an E3PO's project site video tutorial on setting up a source dedicated server. In this tutorial, I will be using PuTTY to connect via SSH to a virtual machine I've created in a previous video. You can find out how to set one up by checking the description or by clicking on the annotations here and here. You can follow along with this video on my website, which is linked in the description. To begin, Let's create a new directory and name it SRCDS underscore one. I normally try to name my directories what the server will be, for instance, SRCDS underscore surf for a surf server, but in this case, I'll just call it one. We need to enter the directory. If you're using Ubuntu 64-bit, you'll need to install the IA32 libraries. You can do this by using apt-git. Once they're all installed, you can start to download the HL Dedicated Server Update tool. Once finished, we need to set permission so that we can execute it. And then we'll run it. Agree. And now we'll run Steam. Once you've ran it, uh, you're going to have to run it one more time. Hit the up arrow and run it again. And now we can start uh, installing the game that we want to install. If we're not sure exactly what the game name is, we can type steam command list and it will get all of the available games to download. So for this, I'm going to install Team Fortress, so just TF. So steam command update game TF directory and dot. That means the current directory. Go get some coffee and come back when it's all done. Okay, once it's done downloading, uh, let's go into the configuration directory of the server so that we can uh, set up some configuration options. So it's going to be in uh, orange box, Team Fortress, config. Uh, we can go ahead and just get this default configuration file from my website and edit it how you would like so vi and uh, let's go ahead and change the archon password and so go to here hit i for insert and i'm just going to change this to something random hit escape and then right quit okay now let's go back a few directories uh, actually going to want to be inside of orange box and now we can create a script that is going to keep our server running so vi server.sh to start it up and then copy this uh, script here okay I'm gonna actually change the port real quick uh, to something else just so I know it doesn't conflict with uh, my already running servers uh, it's going to be on CTF2 fort, and then the name to access it is uh, TF2-1. So I'll go ahead and right quit. Okay, now you probably want to register your game server. So uh, to do this, probably go into whatever the game you are, uh, in this case Team Fortress, and type CL underscore game server underscore create underscore identity. Uh, you can find this by googling TF2 quick play overview and it will bring you to this page it's also linked in the description uh, but you need to run this command it will give you uh, basically this filled out you need to copy and paste that into your server configuration file so go back into uh, TF config and VI server.config and place it in here just like this Okay, so now you can uh, chmod plus x the uh, server.sh to make it executable and then uh, server.sh to run it. Okay, server has now been started up and now you can screen our uh, tf2-1 which is the name of the server 
uh, that's called in server.sh. Now in my case I had to uh, open up ports to this server to allow it to run correctly. Uh, if you don't know what that means you can pretty much figure it out by going to Google and typing uh, how to open ports on my router. And There's all these good tutorials showing you how to do it and uh, how to open up your firewall and all that good stuff. Uh, this is the error message you get if you do not register your server, but this is how you get the server up and running. So there you go. That's how you set up a server uh, for Source Dedicated Server and Team Fortress. Uh, to detach from this, now you can hold in the control, hit A, and then hit D with control still, still held in. So that's how you do it. Uh, to close the server, what you can do is you can either do kill... Uh, pkill srcds linux that'll kill it or you can go back into the screen and then just hit control c to kill it so that's how you do it check out the website www.e3po.info and check out the uh, next tutorial which i'll probably add to an annotation now when it uh when it comes available setting up uh, source mod and uh, working with plugins and all that good stuff for team fortress 2 Thanks for watching.